Lift up your voice and I celebrate this great God. Give him all the glory and adoration. Worship his holy name, his worthy of our praise. There is none like him. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. Thank him for the first day. Thank him for this second day. Of the April edition of Week of Spiritual Emphasis. Worship his holy name is worthy of our praise. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. And thank you. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We give you all the honor. Let's thank him for answer prayers. It is one thing to pray, it's another thing for prayers to be answered. And we can only pray, we cannot answer prayers. To that great God that answer prayers, let's celebrate him Let's thank him for answer prayers. Let's thank him for answer prayers. He is a faithful God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, our soul has found rest, oh Lord, we, we give you thanks, we give we you thanks, thanks, Lord, thanks, thanks, we give you thanks. Father, thank you. Baba Asante. We give you all the glory and adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. You are going to pray this hour. Commanding the month and the quarter and let it answer to everything. Let me tell you this, it is your spiritual duty to command the day, the week, the month and the year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the fourth day of the second quarter of the year. And you know, whatever you command, it obeys. In Luke chapter 8, verse 25, Jesus said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wonder, saying to one another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded even the winds and water. Nani huyu basi hata amuru upepo na maji. And they obey him. Navyo vya mti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anything we command is bound to obey. Chochote ambacho tutane kiamuru kinatakiwa kuti. And that's why you have to pray. Domana itakiwa uombe. It's your spiritual duty to do that. Ni wajibu wako wa kiroo kufanya hivyo. To command and say, it shall be well with me and my family this month. Kwa muru kwa mba itakuwa heri kwangu na familia yangu mwezi huu. In this month of April. Karika mwezi huu wane. It shall be well with me. Itakuwa heri kwangu. Spiritually. Kiroo. Maritally. Kindoa. Financially. Kifedha. 
and every endeavor it shall be well with you. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, he shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, he shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, he shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, he shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, he shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10 says, say to the righteous, Lord, in this month it shall be well with me. In every area of my life, it shall be well with me financially. It shall be well with me maritally. It shall be well with me materially. It shall be well with me spiritually. In this month it shall be well with me my work of my hand. Lift up your voice and pray. The Bible says, "Say to the righteous." He shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, all the brothers in the city center of Bagana, lift up your voice and command the month. He shall be well with me, Lord, in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, things shall work for me. Things shall work for me. Things shall work for me. Everything shall work well for me. Oh, shakabran de kato. Say to the righteous, he shall be well with him, and they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Oh, shakabu, ala boshi ala palapa, ayila brakato. Aliande kato shakaba, ashuke to balia baba shulia, la kato shia lando kia talaba, eshua kia takabo shia laba, la kato shia laba laba, la kato shia katalia baba, aliande lebo shia laba laba, alia baba sholobo lia balabo shia laba, la kado, it shall be well with me, there shall be no mishap, oh breketelia, alia ba kato shike. Le keto shakiaba, la katon de kiato shakaba, ashua kiata kotiaba, ashulia baba, lianda katiria, le keto shiakaliba, le keto shikaba, landoliba, le keto brekita, ashua kiate keto liababa, aliababa sholiaba, la cote, la cote and aliababa, le keto shialaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. To pass amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. Paz, amen. Mark 11 verse 23. If you will say to this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast and shall not that in, the, in thy heart. But thou shalt believe that those things which you say shall come to pass. And you shall have whatever you say. As you have said it, you shall have it. And not hearing it mean a louder amen. You are going to pray every hour. You know the Bible says in Psalm 91. Reading from verse 3 and 4. Psalm 91. He says he shall no, start from verse 2. I will say of the Lord. He started in verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret mercy of the he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. And He shall deliver thee from the scare of the fowl. And from the noiseless person. And He said He shall cover you with the wings. And verse 5. That shall not be afraid for the hour. Utaogopa ya hofu ya usiku. Or the hour. The arrow, the terror by night. Hofi ya usiku. No, the arrow that flyeth by day. Wala mshale uruka umchana. We are going to pray every hour of fire that me and my family. Tukona kumba kila mshale wa moto kinyume ya mimi na familia yangu. I return it back to where it's coming from. Wana na urudisha uliko toka. No arrow of sickness. Hakuna mshale wa magonjwa. No arrow of of lack. Hakuna mshale wa kukumukiwa. Any kind of arrow will touch me and my family this time. Let me up your voice and begin to pray. Every hour of sickness, every hour of sickness, fire that you in the name of Jesus, let it return back to the sender. Let it return back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Oh, makata shuliya kabali valiaba. Every hour that Friday by day, 
the devil by night he shall not come near you 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 in the name of Jesus he shall not come near you oh lakate shuli katalikaba shiaka lobonde kalibo shiakaba shiaka leba leba likato shiababa lakotendo breketo bali shulia leketo breketo liaba la balaba the Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands shall not perform their enterprises. Every satanic owl, every witchcraft owl, every occultic owl from the pit of hell targeted on any winner this month. Lord, it shall not stand. Lo Shaka, every turn back to where it's coming from. Elia Bakato, every owl that want to. Oh Lord, that they have targeted against your destiny, against your business, against your career and your marriage. Jesus said, we, we return it in your name back to the sender. He said, He that dig it, the peace shall fall into it. Oh, Makia Toshia, whosoever that breaketh the serpent, oh, the, whosoever that breaketh the hedge, the serpent shall bite. Lakote ketolia, ayolia ba katoshia, lakatoko to lia ba balaba, aseke to ba lia ba balia, ashoke to ba lia ba, alanda la ba balaba. He that dike the fish shall fall into it, and whosoever break the hedge, the serpent shall bite him. Oh, laketo shakiata, ayolia ba kuti anda la ba, ashulia ba ba, ashoke to ba ketolia ba, ashua kiata lia ba. Thank you, Jesus. Santa is. In Jesus' glorious name. Psalm 118, verse 17. He said, I shall not die but live. And declare the words of the Lord. Every hour of dead fire that we, or any member of my family, Lord, he may turn back to her. We shall not bury anyone in our family. Lift up your voice and make that decree. No one shall die young in our family. No one shall die young in this in this church. Oh, we shall not die but live to declare the words of God. In the name of Jesus, anyone close to the grave, let that person be rescued. Anyone close to the grave, let that person be rescued. Everyone, Lord, they have destined for destruction. Father, by this way, I let them be rescued. Oh, we shall not die, but live to declare the words of the Lord. The covenant with death is cancelled. The agreement with her shall not stand. Oh, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, you shall not die, but live. Oh, to declare the words of the Lord. Oh, shakabal katoshia. Leketon de kaliba kutia bababa. Ashuli akaba. Likushi akaba. Lekutando preketoshia. Lakatoketushi akaba liba. Ashunde la balabosaba. Aliande le boshi alabalaba. Alia baba lika. Lakatoko tolobo. Eketeshu la balaba. Alian de lebo, le keto shakabalia, asun de lebo shial alaba, alia baba sholobo, e kete kete lia balaba, le kete ndaliaba, la kate kiata la baba, alian doba, e shua kiatota, la katolia balaba, every hour of death, fire that anyone or anyone related to us, Jesus will return it back to the head of the sender, lo balia, no one dies young in winner's family, and everyone related to us, he said the number of our days. He shall fulfill. Oh, Shiaba, Alando Brecando, Eshuka Likatusha Kudianda, Alando Breketo Shia Calaba, Ali Katosha, Leketon de Calabo Shia Calaba, Ayulia Baba, Eshuakia Talebaba. Thank you, Jesus. Santis. Somebody shout a louder amen. To Pazame. Somebody shout a louder amen. Pazame. Psalm 35, verse 1 to 2. Plead my cause, O Lord. With them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler. And stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. And say unto my salvation, unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be comforted and be put to shame that seek after my soul. And let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. You are going to pray. He said, let them be as chaff before the wind. 
and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord be good them. You are going to be Lord, fight for me this month. Fight against them that fight for me. Spiritual battles. Face the to fight for me. Oh, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Anyone, Lord, fight and I plead my cause. Plead the cause of this church and fight against them. That fight against the numerical growth of this church. Fight against them. That fight against. Lord, the developmental growth of this church. Fight against them. That fight against the financial growth of this church. Plead the cause of this church and the individual members this month. Plead the cause of this church. And the individual members fight against them. Oh, break out to Liyaha. Alando break out to Shiyaha. Fight against them that fight against our business breakthrough. Fight against them that fight against our marital settlement. Fight against them that fight against our favor. Fight against them that fight against Lord the establishment of souls. Lord, fight against them. Oh, Yakato Shakia. Lekotando break it to Eshuka la kato shiakaba ayonde lebo shiala halaba ayando bala halaba baba le baka toke to eke toko toli abalaba ayande lebo alia baba kato li aba elia baba kato shia la kato deli ababa ayulia baka toli a Eshuka la brande kelia elia ndeke to shiala ba obelia baba shuli aba alando obelia baba ba plead the cause of individual members of winners family oh lord and fight against them that fight against them oh this month fight for your people only a cabo shia kaba a yonde le abalaba le keto shia ba a liando le aba a shu keto shia kalaba a yuli ababa le aba a sholi ababa le abalaba la kato shia kali abalaba a liando le bushi alaba she keto dala abalaba thank you jesus santes in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. The Bible says, And the Lord shall make thee the head. Yes. And the Lord shall make thee the head. And the Lord shall make thee the head. And not the tail. Wala and thou shalt be above only. Now we talk about you too. The team of this month said, I am redeemed for the top. Lord, I am redeemed for the top. I must assess the top this morning. Lord, take me up. I must be the head and not the tail. I must be above and not beneath. Lift up your voice. Let the team of this morning answer in my life. You know Let me be your prayer. Oh, I shall be above and not beneath. Let the team of this morning answer. Lord, in every area of my life. Oh, Lord, take your people up to the topmost top. 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 Take your people people up to the topmost top. Take your people top. Let the team of this month answer. He said we are the light of the world. The city that is set on high which cannot be hidden. We are the light of the world. The city that is set on high that cannot be hidden. Jesus, let the team of this month answer. Lord, in the life of every winner, Lord, cause your people to experience a standing success in all their endeavors, in their businesses, in their career, in their families, a standing success. Oh, Shakaba, Lekutando, Brekendo, Kiatoshia, Leketo, Liabal, Alia, Brakatoshia, Laketon, Deliabalaba, O Breketon, Dalia, Ayalea, Katesulia, Baba, Lakaton, Deliabalia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand and appreciate him for answer prayer. Jesus, send your word to your people again today. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Let's be your holiness. Lord, send your word to your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. Somebody expect time to be imparted today. Shout a louder amen. We have come. We open hand, so let the ancient world in We have come, we have come with open hand. We open hand, so let the ancient world.
Jesus, please have your seat. Welcome to this second day of April edition of We Cause Spiritual Emphasis. The God of the first day is the God of the second day. He will visit you today. He will impart you by his word today. He will cause you to command exploit on every area of your life. our month of outstanding success. And the team of this month will answer in your life. Your place is at the top. And that's where you'll be found this month. And all the days of your life. When they look for you on the ground, they will not find you. There. I'm not hearing a louder amen. When they look for you at the bottom, they will not find you. There. They will find you at the top. I'm not hearing a louder amen. Engaging the power of love. For exploit. Kuhusisha nguvu ya pendo kwa matendo makubwa. One B. Same ya kwanza B. Remember our prophetic focus is I am redeemed for the top. Kumbuka tamko letu linasema nimekombolewa kuwa juu. Engaging the power of love. Kuhusisha nguvu ya pendo. What is exploit? Matendo makubwa ni nini? Let's know what it's all about. Hem tujue matendo makuu yanamaanisha. Exploit could not extraordinary accomplishment. Matendo makuu ni mafanikio yasiyo ya kawaida. Extraordinary accomplishment. Ni mafanikio yasiyo ya kawaida. Exploit could not. Matendo makuu yanamaanisha. Doing the unusual. Kutenda yasiyo ya kawaida. Accomplishing the humanly unattainable. Kutimiza yale yasiyowezekana na mwanadamu. Oh, exploit could not. Matendo makuu yanamaanisha. The act of becoming a standing successful. Kitendo cha kuibuka kimafanikio kitofauti. You can call it a standing success. Unaweza kaita mafanikio yasiyo ya kawaida ya kitofauti. Extraordinary accomplishment. Kutimiza kwa namna isiyo ya kawaida. It's all about praising the tree. Inamaanisha kuanzisha njia. Setting a pace. Kugundua njia. Being the, a pathfinder. Kuwa muonyesha njia. That's what we meant by exploit. Ndicho ambacho mafanikio au matendo makuu yanamaanisha. But what were we saying that it, but it is love. Lakini tunachosema kwamba ni love pendo. Love for God. 
Pendo kwa Mungu. Is the master key to a world of exploit. Ndio funguo kuu kuelekea viwango vya matendo makubwa. Pendo kwa Mungu. Is the master key. Ndio funguo kuu to a world of exploit. Kuelekea ulimwengu wa matendo ya makubwa. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Wa Korinto wa kwanza mbili tisa. The Bible says as it is written. Biblia inasema kama ilivyoandikwa. I have not seen. Mambo ambayo macho hayajakuwa. Wala macho kusikia. have entered into the heart of man. Wala yakuingia katika moyo wa mwanadamu. The things which God have prepared. Mambo ambayo Mungu aliwaandalia. The kind of exploit God have prepared. Aina ya matendo makubwa ambayo Mungu ameandaa. For those that love him. Sio kwa kila mmoja ila kwa wale wampendao. For only those that love him. Kwa wale tu wanaompenda. The love of God will turn any child of God into a living wonder. Upendo wa Mungu utamgeuza mtoto wote wa Mungu kuwa ajabu na uishi. You love God and fear. Hawezi kumpenda Mungu na ukashinda. Standing success in life answers to your love for God. Mafanikio makubwa katika maisha huwa yanajibu kutokana na upendo wako kwa Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. The love of God. Pendo kwa Mungu. Is one of the mysteries behind high flyers in the kingdom. Ni moja ya siri kubwa ya wale wanaopaa juu katika ufalme wa Mungu. Nothing flies like love in the kingdom. Hakuna ambacho kinampaisha mtu kama upendo kwenye ufalme. When one is in love. Mtu akiwa katika pendo he is spiritually connected to divinity. Kiro anaunganishwa na uungu. When you are in love with God. Ukiwa katika pendo na Mungu. You are spiritually connected to divinity. Kiro unaunganishwa katika uungu. And that means whatever God is. Na ki ile inakufanya vyote Mungu alivyo na kila Mungu ambacho anacho. To operate in the same level. Unaanza kutembea katika kiwango hicho hicho cha Mungu. Connect us to divinity. Upendo unatuunganisha na uungu. And you know that God can offer. Na unajua kabisa Mungu hawezi kushinda. You know that God is at all. At the top. Mungu yuko juu. Praise the Lord. When you love God, ukimpenda Mungu, you are connected to God. Unaunganishwa naye. First John chapter 4 verse 16. Yohana wa kwanza 4:16. First John chapter 4 verse 16. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4:16. First John chapter 4 verse 16. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4:16. We have known and believe. Nasema nasi tume the love that God has to us. Pendo alilonalo Mungu kwetu sisi. God is not fate. Mungu sio God is love. Mungu ni pendo. And he say he that dwelleth in love. Anasema yule akae katika pendo. Dwelleth in God. Ukaa katika Mungu. And God in him. Na Mungu kaa ndani yake. Your love for God connects you to God. Upendo wako kwa Mungu unakuunganisha na Mungu. That result to a standing success in life. Na hiyo inapelekea mafanikio ya kitofauti katika maisha. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtupaza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtupaza hallelujah. The love of God Pendo kwa Mungu in the heart of man katika moyo wa mtu is the anchor law of exploit in life ndio funguo kubwa ya mafanikio makubwa katika maisha is the greatest law kiwalisia ni pendo kubwa you know they asked jesus in matthew chapter chapter 22 verse 36 to 40 katika matayo 22 36 mpaka 40 which of this is the greatest which of this is the greatest commandment in law anasema je amri ipi ni kubwa jesus said unto them Yesu akawaambia, shall love the Lord thy God. Anasema, pende Bwana Mungu wako with all thy heart. Kwa moyo wako wote. With all thy soul. Kwa roho yako yote. With all thy mind. Na kwa akili zako zote. This is the first. Hii ndio amri iliyo kuu. And the great commandment. Na iliyo kuu. And the second is like unto it. Na ya pili yafanana nayo. Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Na hiyo ni hii, mpende jirani yako kama nafsi yako. And these two commandments. Katika amri hizi mbili. The law and the prophet. In other words, with that love for God, the scripture does not work in your life. Mandiko hata tena kazi katika maisha. With that love for God, pasipo pendo kwa mungu. No matter who prophesy to you, hajalishi nani yata kutabiria. It will not come to pass. Haiwezi kutimia. Because every prophecy is God is taught says the Lord. Kwa sababu kila unabii wa mungu ni kutoka kwa torati ya mungu. And it takes the hand of God to perform what His mouth has declared. Na mkono wa mungu na timiza kile kinywa kilichotamka. But commit Him to make good His word. It's your law for Him. Muajibisha kufanya kile ambacho amesema uoni upendo wako kwa kile. Jesus is. Jesus say it is the the first and the great commandment. Yesu amesema hii ndio ya kwanza na iliyo kuu. That is why no one can command exploit without love. Ndio maana hakuna ambaye anaweza kaamuru matendo makubwa asipo upendo. Love is the master key to the world of exploit. Upendo ni fungo kuu kwenye ulimwengu wa matendo makubwa. Everyone is creature that commanded exploit have one thing in common that is their love for God. Kila mmoja katika maandiko aliamuru matendo makubwa alikuwa na kitu kimoja kikubwa ambacho ni upendo kwa Mungu. 
a, a love that is not conditional. Si tu upendo, ule upendo si ona masharti kumu. Many people love God because of what He can give them. Watu wengi ona upenda mungu kutokana na kile ambacho nesa kwa. We are talking about unconditional love. Huo ni upendo usi ona masharti. Loving God for who He is, not because of His what His provision or what He can do. Upende mungu kwa vile alivo si o kwa kile ambacho nesa kwa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtupaza hallelujah. That's why, despite the challenges and the trials they face. Domana haijalishi changa moto au majaribu. They have. Love was unshaken. Upendo wa ulikuwa utiki siki. It was not built on the blessing of God. Kwa sababu hau kujengo tu kuje baraka za mungu. It was built on God. Umejengo kwa mungu mwenye. When you have love targeted on the blessing of God. Upendo wako kilenga baraka za mungu. If the blessing is delayed. Kama baraka kichelewa. You will shift to your ground. Utaama. Your your love will die. Upendo wako utakufa. But when your love centers on God. Lakini upendo wako ukiwa umejengo kwa mungu mwenye. Whether he blesses or not. Haijalishi ya mekubariki ya waja kubariki. Whether he answers prayer or not. Haijalishi ya mekujibu wala ya kujibu maombi. It will not shake you. Hauto tingisika. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtupaza hallelujah. That is the kind of love we are talking about. Huo ndi upendo tunawo zungumzia. Not Lord if you answer me I will love you. Sio kwa mabwana ukinijibu ndi yonda kupenda. If you give me this. Give me that, I will love you. Wana ukini pahiki ukini pakile ni takupenda. That is not the kind of love we are talking about. Who is your pendo to know usungumzi? That one is conditional. Who oni upendo uli ona masharti? When there is money in your pocket, you love God. Ukiwa na fedha mfukoni ona penda mungu. Oh, you serve God. You jump and dance. Una luka ukimtumi kia mungu. But when there is no money in your pocket, lakini umfuko kikauka. The same God becomes your enemy. Uyo mungu huyo huyo na kuwa duya. You stand momovi na complaining. Unaza kulalamika una nunguni. No one can command and exploit with such character. Hakuna mtu ambeneza kamuru matendo makupu wa tabia hiyo. Kwa upendo wa namna hiyo, uli uli wa masharti. Huo tunazungumzia upendo usio na masharti kwa mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mutupaza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Siski hallelujah. In our context, what do we mean when we talk about love? Tunapo zungumzia upendo tunamanisha. What is love? Upendo ni nini? What is love? Upendo ni nini? In the context, you know, love means a lot of things to a lot of people. Upendo na maana nyingi kwa watu wengi. You know there are things people call love which is not actually love but it is loss. Kuna watu ambao kuna watu wanaita upendo maana fulani ambao sio upendo lakini ni tamaa. They sound almost the same. Vinaonekana vinafanana. But their spelling is not the same. Lakini yale silabi hazifanani. Love is L O V E and loss is L U U S T. There are two different things about them. Upendo yana maana tofauti. Many people are lost, are manifesting loss. They call it love. Watu wengi wanadhirisha ile tama na wanaita upendo. And that's why I say, in the context of this teaching, what do we mean by love? Ndomana tunangalia je katika fundisho hili tunamani shani tuna vose ma upendo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiri. I say praise the Lord. Zema bwana asifiri. It's all about having deep intimacy. Nikuwa na ile towards God and man. Upendo wandani kwa mungu na mwanadamu. Having deep intimacy. Kwa na ile upendo wandani. Towards God and man. Kwa mungu na kwa mwanadam. Why do we say towards man? Because the proof that you love God is your love for your fellow human being. Kwa sabu kithibitisha kwa mbo na mpenda mungu ni ule upendo wako kwa mjirani yako, au ndugu yako. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 20 to 21. Katika waraka kwanza yowana 4. 1 John chapter 4 verse 20 to 21. Waraka kwanza yowana 4. If a man say. Shirini imbaka shirina moja. I love God. Sama mtu wakisema na mpenda mungu. And hated his brother. Na anamchukia jirani yagi. He is a liar. Uyo ni muongo. That's why there is no love for God if there is no love for your fellow human being. Domana hakuna upendo kwa mungu kama hamna upendo kwa mwana damu zaka. If a man say I love God. Na sepa kama mtu wakisema na mpenda mungu. And hated his brother. Na anamchukia ndugu yagi. He is a liar. Ni muongo. For he that loveth not his brother. Kwa mana siye mpenda ndugu yagi. Whom he have seen. Ambaye memuona. How can he love? God, whom He have not seen. Hawezi kumpenda mungu ambaye hakumuona. And this commandment have we, we from Him that who He who love God love His brother also. Na amri hii tumepewa na yeye ya kwamba yeye ampenda ya mungu ampende na ndugu yake. Verse twenty two. Tari wa shirini. Let him love his brother also. Na epi ya ampende ndugu yake. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtupaza hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Siski hallelujah. That is why a deep intimacy towards God and toward man. Domana ule upendo wandani kwa mungu na kwa mwanadamu. If you hate your fellow human being and love and claim to love God, the Bible says you are making yourself a liar. Kama unamchukia jirani yako na unadai kwa mbo na mpenda mungu, bibiri na kuitoe muongo. What is love in our context? Upendo 
unamaanisha nini? It implies having a heart panting after God and his kingdom. Inamaanisha kuwa na moyo ambao unashauku kwa Mungu na ufalme wake. Having a heart panting kuwa na moyo ambao God and his kingdom. Unashauku kwa Mungu na ufalme wake. If the things of God's kingdom does not touch you. Kama mambo ufalme wa Mungu wala hata hayakugusi, hebu angalie upendo wako kwa Mungu. A lover David said in Psalm 42 Lopendo ambao Daudi anasema katika Zaburi 52 Pant after the water brooks Kama nafsi yangu ioneavo shauku kitu cha maana Soul after the O Lord Ndivyo nafsi yangu konea shauku Hallelujah Hallelujah I learned that this animal does not survive without water Najua hao hao wanyama hayala hao hawezi kuishi bila maji It does not survive without water Hawezi kuishi bila maji water every time now and then wanatafuta maji popote yale. Say as this one look for water that's a way my heart burns after you. Na Daudi anasema kama hayala yavutavutavu haya maji ndivyo nafsi yangu inavyokuonea shauku e Mungu. As they are panting for the water so my soul Lord I'm after you. You are Lord of my heart. Desire of the Lord to worship you oh you are lord and my strength and shield oh you are lord and my spirit be oh you are lord of my heart desire and the lord to worship you it was from this psalm that this song kutoka katika zaburi hii ndio huo wimbo ulikuja kama ayala ayaonavyo shauku maji ndivyo nafsi yangu ya kuonea shauku pendo unamaanisha kuwa na ile shauku moyo wenye shauku ya Mungu tupaza haleluya what is love and in our context upendo ni nini a god first lifestyle maisha ya kumtanguliza Mungu kwangu Bishop Edepo define it as a god first lifestyle Askofu Edepo anaelezea kama maisha ya kumtanguliza Mungu kwangu Mtindo wa maisha ya kumtanguliza Mungu That is the love we are talking about Huo ndio upendo tunaozungumzia Living Matthew 6:37 lifestyle Ukiishi maisha ya Mathayo 6:33 Seeking the kingdom of God Ukitafuta kwanza ufahamu wa Mungu na haki yake And all these things including exploit Na hayo yote kijumuisha matendo makuu ya kiongezwa kwako lakini kuna nini katika penda ambacho kinayafanya matendo makuu ya dunia kuna nini katika pendo number one kitu cha kwanza love empowered our access to revelation upendo utuvika uwezo ukupata masomo let's that you no one can command exploit without revelation hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza akaamuru matendo makuu pasipo ufunuo hawezi kuamuru matendo makuu pasipo ufunuo what is revealed to you by god is what we view you to your word kile ambacho kinafunuliwa na mungu kwako ndicho ambacho kinafunuliwa wewe katika ulimwengu wako wa galatia 2:2 apostle paul say i went up by revelation anasema nami nilionuliwa kwa ufunuo wa galatia 2:2 if apostle paul have to go up by revelation no man can go up with that revelation. Pasipo mtume Paulo kuinuliwa juu kwa ufunuo hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kufanya. Na unapompenda Mungu, he will view things for you. Anafunua mambo kwako. In John chapter 15 verse 15. Katika Yohana wa 15:15. Because of the love of the apostles to Jesus. Kutokana na upendo wa mitume kwa Yesu. Jesus said unto the hench forth I call you not servant. Yesu akamwambia mimi siwaiti tena watu. For the servant knoweth not what the lord doeth kwa maana mtume wa juu atendalo bwana wake i have called you friends lakini ninyi maita rafiki for all things that i have heard of my father i made known unto you kwa kwa yote niliyosikia kwa baba yangu nimewaarifu it takes love for someone to be your friend inahitaji upendo kwa mtu kuwa rafiki yako he saw their love he said no everything my father tells me i will make i will let, let you know alisema kila baba yangu anachoniambia nitawaambieni praise the lord bwana asifiwe you can fly higher in life Hawezi kupaa juu katika maisha. In this world of darkness without revelation. Katika ulimwengu wa giza bila ufunuo. Revelation is a far to light. Na ufunuo unawakilisha nuru. In the world of darkness that it is only like that will try off. Kuna ulimwengu wa giza ambao nuru tu ndio inaweza kushinda. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 say arise and shine. Sasa 61 inasema unuka na uangaze. 
the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And he said, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And it's already it's happening. Dunia. And God's darkness is people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee and the glory shall be seen upon but thee. You can't go higher in life without light. The when you love God, God. He grants you access to his secret. What am I saying? Love is what grants you access to the Father's secret. Your love for God is what determines how much of his secret you have access. Your love for God for God determines the secret he will reveal to you. It is your love for God that makes you God confident. Abraham loved God to the extent God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, how can I do this without telling my servant Abraham? Abraham, he Abraham this is what I'm about to do. And Abraham started negotiating. Abraham Lord, venture, if you see 50 righteous people, will you still destroy the righteous with the wicked? Those that love God does not lack the secret of God. Number two. What is in love that engenders exploit? Love empowers our prayer for instant delivery. Love empowers our prayer for instant delivery. There are a company of people that before they call, God will answer. The cause of love. In the natural, when somebody that you love or loves your cause, you pick it very wonderfully. Very even even though when you miss the call, you want to call back. Kama ukikuta, ulipigiwa, na ukua mbali, Many people kumpigie. are not being answered because of the love is lacking. Watu wengi ya kwa sabu ya upendo na hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Today we look at the example of David. Leo mfano wa Dawid. How his love for God. Namna upendo wake kwa Mungu cause to command exploit in life. Ulivomfanya amuru makuu yes, katika maisha. Yes, we look at example of Abraham. Jana tuliangalia mfano wa Ibrahim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Ab David was a celebrated lover of God. Daudi alikuwa ni mtu ambaye anampenda Mungu, mashuhuri. In 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. Katika Samuel wa kwanza 13 14. God called him. God called him. He said, I have sought him a man after his own heart. It was, a, it was Samuel speaking to Saul. Referring to David as a man after God's own heart. A man that his heart is panting after God. That was the beginning of his exploit. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. You know, when God sent Samuel to go and anoint king in the house of Jesse. David was not invited. David was not considered. It was his love that brought him to the throne. He was not the first son. He was not the second son. Nobody considered him. He was the second to the last son. He was the only senior Benjamin, every other one. Wakubwa zake kama Benjamin walikuwa huko juu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. But Samuel said we will not sit down until he comes. Lakini Samuel akasema hatutaketi mpaka amekuja. It was his heart for God. Ulikuwa ni ule moyo wake kwa Mungu. That gave him the throne. Ndio ulimpa kutawala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The love of God moved him. Upendo wa Mungu ulimsukuma. To dare and crush Goliath. Kumpiga na kumwangamiza Goliath. In First Samuel chapter 17 verse 35. You know he came to see the brothers in battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read where he began from. And he heard how Goliath was pumping, uh, was reposing to destroy the army of Israelites. It was the love that made him. 
Ulikuwa ni upendo ndio uliompa. Ask what can be done to anyone that's led this man. Akasikia nani atatendewa nini ambaye atamwangamiza huyu mtu. And he say I will go because he defied the army of the living God. Na akasema nitaenda kwa sababu ameachafua majeshi ya Mungu alinayo. Verse 35 to verse 50. Na kuanzia mtoto 35 mpaka 50. He dear Goliath. Akakabiliana na Goliath. Crush him too. Na akamwangamiza. And came back with his head. Na akarudi na kichwa cha Goliath. It was love that was pumping inside of him. Ulikuwa ni upendo ambao ulikuwa na msukuma ndani yake. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ndio paza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. David testified of his affection for the house of God. Daudi alikuwa akishuhudia ule shauku yake kwa Mungu. In 1 Chronicles chapter 20. 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 7 to 6. Mambo ya nyakati 1:29 1 Chronicles mpaka 6. Nyakati wa kwanza chapter 29 verse 7 to 6. He said, moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of my own proper good, of gold and of silver, which I have given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house. Na mitena kukua ni meweka nyumba ya mungu wangu, shauku yangu, na amini nazo wazina yangu mwenyewe, ya thabu na fedha, nitaitoa kwa jiri ya nyumba ya mungu wangu. Zaidi ya hiyo akiba niloiweka tayari nyumba takatifu. The word affection talks about love. Upendo unazungumzia upendo kwa Mungu. love for God and his house. Alikuwa akishuhudia ule upendo wake kwa Mungu na nyumba yake. And Psalm 30, 30, Psalm 1, 132 verse 1 to 5 said it this way. Zaburi 132 moja mpaka 5. Lord remember David and all his affliction. Asa Bwana mkumbuke Daudi na mateso yake na upendo wake. Namna avyo mwapia bwana. Amva onto the mighty God of Jacob. Na namna kwa Mungu mkuu wa Yakobo. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house. Sitakuja katika no, nyumba. Go up into my bed. Nenda katika kitanda chako. I will not give sleep to my eyes. Or no slumber to my eyelids. Na sitaacha macho yangu kuwa na usingizi wala kope zangu kusinzia. Until I find out a place for the for the Lord. A habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Praise the Lord. That is a lover. And that, what was the result of his love for God? Praise the Lord. He won the heart of God. That Christ came to his lineage. He won the heart of God. Fanikiwa kupata na pasu katika mwe wa mungu. That Christ came to his lineage. Kia sukwamba kristo alitokea kunye ule uko wa. Isaiah prophesies it in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 to 7. Isaiah kumina moja. Ya baka tatu. The Bible said, And there shall comfort a rod. Out of the stem of Jesse. Basi letoka chibukizi katika shuna la yesi. And the God shall go out of his root. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Roa buwana ataka juu yake. That was Jesus in prophecy. Uyo likuwa Yesu katika unabi. And in Revelation chapter 5 verse 5 to 6. Na ufunu utano utano mbaka 6. Jesus was referred as the root of David. Yesu alikuwa ananukuliwa kama mzizi wa Yesu. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. Kisema simba wa kabila ya Yuda. Shina la Daudi. David. Shina la Daudi. The Messiah came from his lineage. Messiah ali tokea katika ukuzawa. His love won the heart of God. Ule upendo wake uli pata na fast kuni moyo wa mungu. I had God's servant saying recently, a few years ago. Nimskia mtumi shamba mungu akisema miaka kaza idio. There was a day Israelites gathered to celebrate thirty thousand years since Jerusalem was declared as a city of David. Kamba wa na Israeli kusanyika kusherekia miaka elftatu. Toka mji wa Yerusalemu kuwe kwa kuwa mji wa Dawidi. Praise the Lord. Buwana asifiri. Up till now, David is still be celebrated. Mbaka leo, bado Dawidi anele kusherekewa. After over 3,000 years he died. Baada ya miaka yuftatu, bado anesherekewa. That is what love can do. Hicho ndicho pendo inazo kufa. Even at death, love will set you on top most of. Hata katika mauti, upendo takuinua tuju. It is love for God that makes you to die physically and still living here. Ni upendo wa mungu mbona kufanya ufe kimwili lakini bado wanendelea kuishi ya paduniani. Upendo unakupa jina kutoka kwenye jina lako. Hallelujah. Na hizo ndo siri za matendo matendo. Upendo kwa mungu. Praise the Lord. Buwana asifiri. Abraham loved God. Ibrahim alimpenda mungu. He became great. Akawa mku. The same way of Joseph. Namna hivyo hivyo Yusufu. Tomorrow we look at example of Daniel. 
Kesho tutamwangalia Daniel. Daniel got promoted over and over again to rule. Namna Daniel alivyonuliwa juu na juu na juu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kupitia upendo wake kwa Mungu. Mtupaza amen. Your name will be added as an example of someone who loved God. Jina lako litaandikwa kama mtu ambaye anapenda Mungu. Sikia amen. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Lift up your voice. Nainua sauti yako. Love give me a heart panting after you and your kingdom. Bwana nipe moyo ambao unashau huku kwa kona ufalme wako. Panting after you and your kingdom. Moyo ambao unashau huku kwa kona kwa ufalme wako. Panting after you. Nipe moyo wenye shauku kwako na ufalme wako. Panting after you. Moyo ambao unashau huku kwako. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Inua sauti yako na uanze kuomba. Lord, they have panting after you. Bwana moyo ambao unashau huku kwako. The loves you and everything that concerns you. Moyo ambao unakupenda wewe na mambo yako. The loves your kingdom. Moyo ambao unaupenda ufalme wako. Lord, we receive it. Bwana tunaupokea. Lift up your voice and pray. Inua sauti yako na uombe. Oh, by that as you are praying that prayer, you are praying for exploit without knowing. Unapoomba ombi hilo unaomba matendo magumu kudhirika maisha yako bila kujua. It is love to command exploit. Kama inahitaji pendo ile kuamuru mambo makubwa. It is wisdom to pray for that love. Ni hekima kuomba uo juu ya upendo. To pray for that spirit of love to come afresh upon you. Uomba roho ya pendo ije kwa upya kwako. Lo shaka bwande kalobo shaka bandoli aba. Lift up your voice and pray. You know what you are Lift up your voice and pray. You know what you are In all our visitors, lift up your voice and pray. Let's go to your view. You know what you are doing. Oh, shaka pra bando kali shulia, leketo shia kabalando shia kabalabonde kiata, shia kabalako teke to shika laba. O pweli yaba a heart that is after you and your kingdom. Moyamba, oh, ya lakato shaka, wali andolo boshi yaba, leketo shaka, wando lo boshi ya. Lekito pwe lianda kaba Ashuande kaloboshi Alaba wakatoshi alaba Lekiando pwe li shuliaba Shiande kaliaba Shuliaba laba shulia Eliando palando balikatoshia Shia kaba Lakutia bababa Leketo shia kaba laba Thank you Jesus Sante yes In Jesus glorious man Somebody shout a loud amen Tupaza amen God is imparting you afresh today Mungu na kuingizia kwa upya leo with that kind of love na aina hii ya pendo that gave David his place in, in the kingdom ambayo ilimpa Daudi nafasi yake katika ufalme and not hearing a loud amen Sisikia amen David fought 56 battles Daudi alipigana vita 56 battles vita 56 and lost none na hakushindwa na vita yoyote you cannot fail with love hawezi kushindwa ukiona pendo you cannot be defeated with love hawezi kushindwa ukiona pendo praise the lord bwana asifiwe and lost none despite all the battles of life his love was strong bila kujalisha vita vya kimaisha upendo wake uliendelea kudumu praise the lord bwana asifiwe and that's the kind of love god is giving you today hiyo aina ya pendo ambayo mungu anakupa leo love pendo sio na masharti and you shall try off na utashinda you shall not be defeated anymore au utashindwa tena and not hear me louder here man sisikia man you know in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 yo korinto wa kwanza 13 korinto wa kwanza 13 nane hallelujah hallelujah he said charity never failed nasema upendo haupungui neno put it in a in a naive version weka katika tafsiri nyingine Love never fails. Upendo ushindwi. Where there, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will cease. But where there is knowledge, it will pass away. It will pass away. Love never fails. Upendo ushindwi. 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 Love never fails. Upendo because God is love. Kwa sababu Mungu ni pendo. Because God can offer. Mungu hawezi kushindwa. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unanisikia ninachosema? When you love God, you carry God you can never fail. Ukimpenda Mungu, unambeba Mungu na uwezi kushindwa. And I pray for you today. Na ninakuombea wewe leo. That God will impart you afresh with the spirit of love. Mungu atakuingizia kwa upya roho ya upendo. And not hearing a loud amen. Sisikia amen. And not hearing a loud amen. Sisikia amen. So shall it be. Ndivyo itakavyokuwa. If you are here in all of your centers, kama uko hapa na vituo vyetu vyote, and you don't know God. Na haumjui Mungu. You can love him. Hawezi kumpenda. You only love who you know. Unampenda yule ambaye unamjua. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Do you know him? Unamjua? How can you love somebody you don't know? 
Unawezaje kumpenda usiyemjua? But the good news you can know him today. Lakini habari njema ni kwamba unaweza kumjua leo. And the way to know him is to surrender your life to him. Njia kumjua yeye na ni kuyatoa maisha yako kwa your Lord and personal Savior. Fanya kuwa bwana wako. Tell him to come inside of you. Mwite aingie ndani yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know there's someone who want to do that in the VA center here at Banana. You are not born again or you have backslidden you want to return to God. Najua kuna mtu huyo hapa leo ambaye anataka kuyatoa maisha yake kwa Kristo. You love God before but you are low. Ulikuwa ukimpenda Mungu lakini upendo wako umepoa. You miss it. Umekosa. You want to return. Unataka kurejea. Wherever you are. Popote ulipo. Lift your hand up. Let me pray for you. Inua mkono wako juu namna hii ili nikuombe. Lift your hand up. Let me pray for you. Inua mkono wako juu nikuombe. You want to surrender in all the view centers watch them. Katika vituo vyetu vyote ambavyo tutazama, tutakuyatoa maisha yako kwa Kristo. You want to surrender to Jesus. Come. Unataka kuyerekebisha na Mungu. Come forward here. Let me pray for you. Njoo hapa mbele nikuombe. Come let me pray for you. Njoo hapa nikuombe. Clap your hand for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you sister. God bless you. Mungu akubariki dada, Mungu akubariki dada. That's the greatest love you can show to the master. Huo ndio upendo mkuu ambao unaweza kuonyesha kwa Mungu. In John chapter 3 verse 16. The Bible says for God so loved the world. Kwa maana Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. He gave his only begotten son. Hata akamtoa mwana wa pekee. To be that love. Na aka is, is to live a life of righteousness. Na kuridhisha huo upendo ni kuishi maisha ya haki. If you are still living in sin you are crucifying Jesus the second time. Kama bado unaishi katika dhambi unamsurubisha tena Yesu kwa mara ya pili. Come and join these two sisters and surrender your life to Jesus. Kama uko huko na hujatoa maisha yako kwa Kristo njoo hapa ujiunge na dada zetu hawa. And your life will never be mended. Na maisha yako atabaki kama yalivyo. Hallelujah. Nifuatishe maneno haya. Sema Bwana Yesu. Ninakuja kwako. Ninakiri ya kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Ninakuomba unisamehe dhambi zangu. Futa jina langu kwenye kitabu cha hukumu. Andika jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima. Kwa damu yako nisafishe dhambi zangu. Kuanzia sasa ninakiri ya kwamba nimeokoka. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Sante Yesu. Father thank you for these souls you save. Asante kwa nafsi hii ambazo umeziokoa. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Na ufunika kwa damu ya Yesu. I welcome them into the household of God. Ninawakaribisha katika nyumba ya Mungu. Lord they may covered until your return. Bwana wataendelea kufunikwa mpaka utakaporudi. They will not go back to sin they will not go back to the devil. Hata wala kwa shetani wala kwa dhambi. Lord they are new creatures all things are passed away. Lord before the end of this week visit them. Bwana kabla ya wiki kuisha watembelee. Let them have a witness of their salvation today. Wakashuhudie matokeo yao kwa Bwana. Come upon them. Roho mtakatifu njoo juu yao. In the name of Jesus. Right. A new beginning today. Mwanzo mpya kwenu leo. You are blessed. Let the church shout a louder amen. Kanisa paza amen. Congratulations. Ongera. Our church officials will talk to you. Wadumu wetu watazungumza nanyi. We want to see amerikeze. you on Sunday. Tutakuona Jumapili. God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Let the communion still work on. Step forth your hand. Wale wahudumu wa ushirika tusoge hapa. Nyosha mkono kwa kile ushirika. From the communion table. Na chochote ambacho unakitamani kutoka ndani ya ushirika. From the flesh and the blood of Jesus take it. Kwa mwili na damu ya Yesu kichukue. And let them you desire from this table. Chochote ambacho unakitamani kutoka ndani ya mezi. The same love Jesus loved us to the end of dying for us. Yesu alitupenda kufikia kufa kwa ajili yetu. He came to the earth to show us love. Alikuja ulimwenguni kudhihirisha upendo wake kwetu. His flesh and blood is love personified. Damu yake ni ule upendo. That kind of love. Na upendo wa namna hiyo. That flows from his from his father. Ambao umetoka kwa baba yake. Shall be extended to every partaker today. Utamuingia kila mtu leo. In the name of Jesus, anything that hinders your love for God shall be destroyed. Ambacho kinazio upendo wa Mungu kitaharibiwe. Inua sauti yako na uombe. Anything that your love for God is destroyed. Chochote ambacho kinaharibu upendo wa competing with your love for God for God. Chochote kinashinda upendo wa Mungu kinaharibiwa leo. It is destroyed today. Kinaharibiwa leo. Jesus via this communion healed. Yesu kupitia ushirika wa deliver. Kupitia ushirika wa kupokea. ushirika wa restore. Restore our first love for you. Rejesha upendo wako. Anyone that the love have was cold restore. Yoyote ambao upendo umepotea urejeshe katika jina la Yesu. Anyone who have gone astray. Yoyote ambao umepotea. Jesus restore. Yesu rejesha. Halaba katoshi abandoli aba. Jesus by this communion today. Yes, so I decree healings and deliverance. No sickness is permitted to go with anyone here. Hakuna ugonjwa unaruhusiwa kutoka na mtu yote hapa leo. Let that burden in the heart be lifted. Let that be destroyed. 
in the name of Jesus. It is blessed. It is not the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And let there be instant miracles. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm bending, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Your love will not wash cold anymore. Your love for God should be in ever increase in the name of Jesus. And not hearing a louder amen. And you shall command exploit in the name of Jesus Christ. No more failure in your life and business in the name of Jesus. No more frustration and stagnation in the name of Jesus. Everyone will know that you love God this month in the name of Jesus. And not hearing a louder amen. They will see the hand of God in your life this morning. They will see the hand of God in your business this morning. They will see the hand of God in your career this morning. Anyone that withholding your promotion, they come under pressure to release it now in the name of Jesus Christ. No more sickness in your life. No more yoke in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you again with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Remember that the 